10 things you didn't know about One Direction. When One Direction in 2016 went on their hiatus that was supposed to be 18 months, fans were both sad and excited for it to begin. The boys begun their solo careers leaving the iconic band behind them. Now that the boys are four years into their solo careers with the expression of ex-member Zayn Malk who is five years into his the boys have all had singles on the charts some even on the charts at the same time. Let's now look on what the boys did in the band that most people who aren't the biggest fans would know. 10. The band almost had a very different name. One Direction are iconic, but who's to say they would have been this sucksful if Initially, while the men were getting to know each other, they were tasked with creating a group. The idea came up, some are appropriate, some are terrible and a few are doubtful. USP was the name suggested by Liam Payne, short for unique point of sale, but was immediately rejected by the rest of the band. Harry suggested One Direction, which just happened. 9. There was another 1D that had to change its name after Directioners sent death threats. After relying on the 1D name, would affect another squad halfway on the other side of the world. As it turned out, there was already One Direction operating outside of California, a uh, five-man pop rock band. In 2012, the other One Direction finally gave in and opted to change their name after receiving hate mail and death threats from Directioners. They now play under the name Uncharted Shores. 8. Harry Styles used to be in another band, and they're still going before One Direction, Harry Styles was a member of White Eskimo, a pop rock band he formed as a youngster with school friends. When X Factor came knocking, Harry left White Eskimo to join Liam and the men. However his vintage band carried on. Amazingly, White Eskimo are still going these days. 7. Liam Payne was going to be an Olympian before the band came along. If One Direction hadn't happened, Liam Payne might regardless still be famous today. Albeit as a sportsman rather than a musician. 6. 1D Fanfic has sold for six figures One Direction has such an enormous fanbase, even fanfiction written about the band can become so popular that it sells for hundreds of thousands of pounds. The 1D fan fiction after, written by 25-year-old Texan directioner Anna Todd, generated 800 million reads, in the end winning Todd a six-figure deal with Simon and Schuster to make her writing into a trilogy of novels. 5. There would be number 5 SOS without them. It's true, without One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer would not be the award-winning. It was Louis Tomlinson's decision to bring 5SOS on tour with One Direction in 2012 that first made the Australian band known to an international audience and broke them into the mainstream. 4. The multi-band broke the record in the Guinness Book of Records. One Direction has been hugely successful, and not surprisingly, it broke records. According to the Guinness World Records, they have broken six. These include, being the first British band to debut an album at number one in the US. First band to hit number one with their first four albums. Making the highest debut of a single. Dot. 3. Their first round was sold out within 12 minutes the hype of One Direction who made the main stage of his first tour in 2011. Made the 
tickets picked up by fans in minutes. 12 minutes, to be exact. Up All Night Tour was such a successful tour that, when it was expanded beyond the UK, 10,000 tickets sold in 10 minutes for the band's New Zealand gigs. The Australian side of the tour sold out in 3 minutes. 2. They have sold an incredible number of records. One Direction began making records in 2011 and ended with their hiatus in 2015, making just five records in between. However, this limited back catalogue hasn't stopped the band from selling a huge amount of records all the same. In total, One Direction have to date sold more than 70 million records. Their last tour, meanwhile, alone sold 2.3 million tickets. 1. Donald Trump has serious beef with them. In 2012, the band even found themselves in a feud with the future President of the United States. Before he was the most powerful man on the planet, Donald Trump was a property magnate with a string of hotels to his name. One Direction, during their Up All Night tour. In 2012, even stayed in Trump's signature Trump Tower Hotel. Payne stated that Trump had phoned their room asking if they'd be happy to meet either Ivanka or Tiffany and their manager declined after refusing to wake them up. He said, Trump actually kicked us out of his hotel once. You wouldn't believe it. Trump refused to allow them access to the hotel's underground garage, forcing them out the front to waiting fans. The end.